The Seattle Channel presents the J.P. Patches and Stan Borson Holiday Special. Now, here's J.P. and Stan. Well, I'll be. Look who's here. Brakeman Bills. Oh, I, I never thought I'd meet you down here at the Seattle Channel. Well, Captain Puget, what are you doing here? Well, I've come down here to uh, say hello to you, I guess, and uh, uh, talk about the big show, Christmas show. Oh, that's right. We're, mm -hmm. we're on Seattle Channel. We're on the Seattle Channel when we, you know, we had a good luck. Uh, uh, I was on it for 18 years. And how now, long? wait a minute, wait a minute. You're not really Captain Puget. No. And I'm not really Brakeman no. Bill. No. I'm JP. And I'm Stan. Well, hi, Stan. And Good to you see And, you know, uh, I was on for 18 years, but you had the record, didn't you? It was uh, just about 24 years. 24 years. Yes, and uh, those were great times. Great and, times. And yeah. here we are. We're, we're, we're back on TV again. We're back again. on the, uh, TV after 30 years of being off. Uh -huh. we're, we're back on for the Seattle Channel for this big Christmas special. Yes, you know... Uh, uh, the Seattle Channel has all kinds of wonderful things, you know, the art programs and, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, they, they do so many wonderful things. Absolutely. But why are we here? Well, uh, I'm here to uh, plug my old show. Oh, okay. Zero knockers, but your crockers, hell of the loo's above. That's a secret password that we use down at the club. Very good, Stan. I really don't have a song other than uh, I wish I was a Patches Pal, but, but I can't sing at yeah, all. That sounded good to me. But you know what? Uh, we've got a Christmas show that I think everyone will really like. Mm -hmm. It's about Santa Claus and how he didn't have enough elves mm -hmm. to make all the presents for the thousands and thousands of boys and girls all over the world. And well, it's a long involved story, so instead of me telling you the story, let's watch it. I can hardly wait. Okay, it's the story of how Santa got his elves, more or less. Now, if we count to three, I think everyone will see it. Let's do it. Okay, one, One, two, two three. three. The J.P. Patches Christmas Special, How Santa Got His Elves, More or Less is sponsored by Sears Greater Seattle Puget Sound Stores. All of us at Sears want to wish you and your family a happy holiday by bringing you this uninterrupted Christmas special. Sears, where America shops. And now, how Santa got his elves, more or less. Go, the tree's almost done. We'll just put the star on there, and what a beautiful tree, and what a beautiful night, Christmas Eve. There we are. Now, we're all set, and the tree's decorated, and the packages are all wrapped. It's Christmas Eve, and there's no one here to help celebrate Christmas with me. Wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Carolers. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. A merry, merry, merry Christmas. A merry, merry, merry Christmas. A merry, merry, merry Christmas. And a happy New Year. Hey, very good. Hi, Carolers. How'd you like to come in and have some hot cocoa? Well, we got some cocoa. Oh, carolers. come on. I've got the cocoa already poured. Come on in. Boy, oh, Michael, like, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, ever... Just sit down. I've got some nice hot cocoa for you. One for you. Here's one for you. You've been out caroling all evening, have yes, you? Yes, sir. It's cold. Okay. All right, here's one for you. Hey, boy, I'm glad you're here. Hey, I'll tell you what, as long as you're here, how'd you like to hear a story? Frosty the Snowman. I tell that story just beautifully. Okay, no, one no, 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 no. Oh, you've got to go. Five hey, bicycles, wait. double park. Double park? <laughs> oh, double park. Uh, well, how about uh, the Lilith Angel? No, I gotta go stop off practice. Stop off practice. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, you haven't heard the story of uh, how Santa got his elves. Aha. Uh -huh. no. You haven't heard that. Okay, now just sit down. And I'm going to tell you the story of how Santa got his elves. Well, more or less. <clears throat> now, this happened a long time ago. Once upon a time at the North Pole, Santa Claus was so worried about the fact that there were so many boys and girls, and he just didn't have time to make all Whoa, is me. Whoa, is me. Here it is, their Christmas season, and woe is me, I haven't got any toys made or not nearly enough. Everybody wants things, mail is coming in by the bundles. Freddie wants a baseball bat. Beverly wants some tall boots. Bobby wants a raise. Bobby wants a raise. 
The, uh, Ronaldo wants a microscope, and Kathy wants a doll, and Andy... Well, Andy, all I can say to poor Andy is too bad this year. Andy wants a full rim zillion torch. I don't even know what a full rim zillion torch is, but you see, Andy, that's the breaks. We're not going to get it this year. It's as simple as that. You better watch out. You better. Oh, Santa, the mailman was just here and delivered some more letters. Oh. So get busy and start making all the toys for all the little goodies. Santa. Well, that's thank right. you, Ma. That's lovely for I appreciate I'll that. I'll decorate the tree but while you start fixing you, all the toys. You see, there's. I don't think you understand, Ma. I want to talk to you. Yes. Ma. Yes, Ma. Maud, we got a problem. A problem? Boy, have we got a problem. Well, now, Santa, you just sit right down. No, oh, no, no. that is warm back there. <laughs> that oh, now, Santa, say you don't you understand. just sit down there and well, we've Maud, always now, wait a minute. worked out our little problem. I know and that, sweetheart, you but you're... Tell little Maudie what your problem is. Maud. And I'll put the teapot on. Maud, you see? You see, Maud? Maud, there isn't going to be any Christmas this year. Oh, Santa, you've been saying that every year with all those yeah. letters coming in. Well, now, you just start fixing the toys, yeah, and old Marty, Maud, old Marty will be right here what, to you help you. You stand over here. All right, now listen, Maud, that's a problem. There's over 73 zillion kids in the world now, and they all want presents and stuff, and they look at Santa Claus, Slow and down, I'm all Santa. set to... Santa, slow yes. down. Yes. Sit down, well, Santa. You don't understand. Now, you've got old Marty here to help you. I've helped you yes, every dear, year. Yes, dear, every year. I and know don't that. don't forget all the reindeer out there. Oh, the There's reindeer? Yes. Rudolph and Comet uh -huh. and Blitz out no. there. No. Blitz out, that's blitzing. Oh, well, you've seen one reindeer, you've seen them all. Yes, well, that's good. Oh, you are they lost? D d lost? No, no, I took them to town. You took them to town? Yes, I put some new snowshoes on them. Good, you put some... You... Maud, what, is the, what do the reindeer need with snowshoes, dear? Well, how'd you like to be out Christmas Eve with snow up to your antlers? They're running around I'm Running there. around, can't see. Now, Santa, you yeah. just take each letter one at a time. Well, you step over this way, will you? Okay, now stay right there, sweetheart. All right, now we'll let... go through the letters like we always have, and you start pounding. Let me and tell I'll you this. this. Let me tell you this. And I'm ready. Stop. You must listen to me now, dear. There's nobody to help me make the 94 zillion toys I gotta get made. Nobody. And here it is, Christmas is a coming, and we don't have the toys built. Now, what am I gonna do? You're right. I have noticed an influx of more letters every and year. And an outflux of the toys and sizes and stuff. They're not here. You know, I've got to have some help. Help me think of a place where I can get some help. Well, there must be someone, Santa, that can give you help. Yes, there must be and someone must who be... can give me Wait, help. Wait, I've got it, Santa. Why don't you go see the King of the North? The King of the North? He's just a great big grump. Oh, no, Santa, he's not a grump. That's where you're wrong, 100%. The king is a very, very nice king. Would you explain all of that? It's the duke. The duke? Yes, it's the duke, mm. the power behind the king. Mm. He controls the king. Why, I've heard people say he doesn't even want the king to laugh. Oh, that's terrible, Ma, that's duke, terrible. The duke probably had a horrible childhood. Oh, probably. probably doesn't not. have the spirit of Christmas in his heart. Did he probably ever get any presents or anything? No. What we have to do is yeah. go and see the king uh -huh. and ask him for some help. Well, that's a jolly good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Now, yeah. who does the king have Who's that... the king's got? Let's, Let's see. see now. Who's it? Yeah, yeah, I... Elves! Oh, 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 that's elves. it, elves! Oh, 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 my goodness! Elves! I've got him, and I took him back. Boy, have I got an idea, elves! You bet you oh, the oh, Call the no. doctor, Santa. No. What's the matter, oh, boy? I'm fading fast. Are you hurting? I've got elves. Elves. Oh, oh you're oh. sorry. Now, you think you're I had chill blains once, but I never had elves. You're not sick, dear. It's too late. No, 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 no. You've Send not all my jewelry to my sister. There is no thing oh. such as an elf sickness. 
You said I had elves. No, I didn't say you have got elves. Who's you... got elves? I'll call the doctor. No. I'll go and tend. No. I'll boil some water. No, no. That's what I'll do. No, I'll no, boil... no. Now listen to me, dear. The king of the north has got a zillion elves. That's oh, who's got that it. poor sick king. No. He's got elves. No, no, no. Oh. You see, elves are not elves are not sicknesses as says. Elves are almost people. What do you mean, almost people? What well, are elves? They're itsy bitsy, teeny tiny little uh, flinging peopleses. Oh, Sam, if you had elves, you'd take ten of them to roll a marble across the floor. No, now, what are you going to do no, with little... No, 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 no. Elves can help me make all the toys, and they can sing along, and rip a dip tip and zig a dick ding We can have a lot of fun building toys. Well, I don't know if it's going to work, Santa, but I guess they're the only ones that can help us. Get your scarf. We're going to see the king of the north. All right, Santa. All we'll right. go see the king. Here it is, We're dear. on our way, right. and I hope that duke doesn't give us any trouble, you Santa. You don't have to worry about that duke. Once the good king hears that he's going to bring Christmas and happiness to everybody, he'll give us the help. I hope you're right. I All hope. right. Girl. My feet are starting to move now. Okay. Point me towards the door. Okay, dear. All right. It's right over there this we way. Go. It's kind of foggy out no, there. No, we're not even outside yet. Oh, we're not. Turn here. around this way. All right. No, you're. No, you're we're, we'll go out the, the, out the door. Out the and door. We'll have to see the king to That's get the it. elves. We're gonna All get right. the elves. Come along, Santa. We're gonna make toys, and it's gonna be a merry Christmas. <laughs> like to smile this Christmas season. I never get to smile and be happy. Why can't I smile? It's unkingly, uncommon, undone. If you wanted to laugh, King, you should see what we're having for dinner. Hmm. Rotten. Well, I'd like to smile one Christmas season and have a good time. Well, it's uh, not noble. The people didn't like you to be a king, sister. Well, uh, uh. Oh, I don't know why you just can't arrive in a normal manner and come in through the door. You always... Santa? Yes, it's me, Maud. Oh. And I'd kind of appreciate it if you'd let me up. Oh, well, heart. get up, Santa. Oh, I don't oh, know I... why we always have to ride Bye. down the chimney. Thank you very much, Randy. Oh, Santa. Yes. Who are oh, you? you mean, who am I? I am the king. Well, oh, he's the king. Yes, he's yeah. the king. Wait a minute. Yeah. Who are you? Who am I? Who oh, am I? You're Santa yeah, Yes, I'm Santa Claus. And I'm Mrs. Claus. Claus. Yes. Kneel before the king. So loud. Yes, yes well, I will be more than glad to kneel Santa. before the king, but... Yes, I'll just Santa curtsy. Santa. You could curtsy if you no, like. Oh, you're pretty you curtsy. curtsy. All right, all right. Get on with it. What do you want, well, old man? Well, you see, you see, you're... Uh, your kingship, it's Christmas time, and there's zillions of kids all over the all over the world, and uh, well, they expect presents and stuff, and there's not enough people to help me make the presents, so I thought I'd come and ask you if you would lend me some of your elves. Yeah, we just don't have enough people making all the toys. Seventy-three zillion, and we need a couple more people, maybe forty, fifty. Mr. Claus, it's yes. been a rather bad year for elves. It's uh, been a bad year uh, for toys. Let me see. We have uh, 80... For, we have 30... Uh, we have three. Three elves? Three elves, yes. Oh, three elves. Three elves. Can we do it with three? We'll try. We'll try, Santa. Well, Ask listen... Him. Yeah, good. Well, uh, can I see the elves now? Elves. Bring in the elves! Bring in the elves! Maud, he's the loudest person yeah. I ever heard. Uh, elves. Elves, uh, you do this. Elves, 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 plural, uh, more than uh, one, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Sorry, two, just another one is all I need. No, please, please. <laughs> Uh, uh, Mr. Claus, yes. this is, uh, Lorenzo, yes. uh, Horatio, uh -huh. and the chunky one is Laszlo. Laszlo. Yes. Laszlo. Lorenzo, Horatio, and Laszlo, that's what we call ourselves. We are the favorites of the king, the very best of elves. We go to work in the morning. We love to make some toys, to bring some Christmas happiness to all the girls and boys. We work our fingers to the bone, although we're very small. We may be short and undersized, but our size can be small and so racial and hello. That's what we call ourselves. That's what we are the favorites of the king, the very best of elves. Oh, that was lovely, lovely. Oh. Now, you 
Incidentally, uh, you are a little large for an elf, aren't you? You're expecting maybe Tom Tom? Well, no, it isn't that so much. I but could I mean... take my sneakers off. No, 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 no. I could get on my knees. No, you Anna. don't have to. Do I that. could lay down on the floor. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's all right. right. You could not get, get off. off. Laszlo, get up from there. Well, there they are, Santa Claus. Yes. Take them or leave them. Take them or leave them. No, there are only three of them, and they can work all night long. They're not going to get all the work done, Maud. How can we do it? We'll manage. At least it's three that we don't have, Santa. Yeah, it's better you have better them take them. Yeah. Let's take them. All right, Maud, I'll tell you right now, King Z. I'll take the elf, and we'll make all the toys. But wait! A condition! <laughs> what if you had garlic again today? <laughs> What, 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 what condition? That, what, what are we talking about, condition? You must return the elves within one hour. Well, that's a <laughs> snap. Wait. One In hour. one hour, and you must make me laugh. But, but make I want to laugh. have fun this Christmas. Make a laugh. In one hour, the elves back, and you must make me laugh. Well, making him laugh, that's one thing. We can do that. But making all the toys, I don't know whether we can do it in an hour or not. Santa, you can do it. All the funny jokes you know and you've heard. Yes. We'll come back and make yes. him laugh and we'll keep the elves. Yes. Oh, what am I going to... All right, King Z, the good king of the north. We'll take your three elves. We'll make the toys. We'll be back in an hour. And you will laugh for Christmas time. All right. All right. One hour. Make me laugh yes. while I keep all the toys. All the toys. All, all the toys. Every one. Every you last tri All right, all right, all right. All right. Here we go. Let's take the elf right now. Okay. Good. Oh, there you go, sweetheart. you've treated Maud and me, and we are going to be able to deliver Christmas toys to the world, because if you find elves and all oh, of them... Oh, Santa, have you seen Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Is he missing? Well, I think he's hiding. Hiding? You know why he's hiding? Yes. I'll tell you why he's hiding. Why is he hiding? Because you're trying to put snowshoes on all of the reindeer, and they're a little upset about it. Oh, I don't think so. They won't get their hooves all cold and clammy. Well, that's kind of you, Maud, and I know you're a kind person, but basically speaking, they will not wear uh, whatever those are. Snowshoes, yes. and I made a terrible mistake. Rudolph has four feet, yes, and that's... I've only got two. Well, I'll find two oh, more. Oh, Maud, you know it's not oh, going to work. Oh, Santa! Take a look at them. Look at all take the Take a look toys. at them, Maud. And all wrapped in everything, Santa. Just take a look at those toys. That's okay. just in the one twinkling of an eye there. I have got a whole warehouse filled out there, filled with them. What, what about Laszlo over there? He's kind of a Just don't mention one. Laszlo's name. It's a little weird, but he works very hard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got it. I got it for sure this time. This what? is going to this is gonna go. This will be a big one. Wonderful. What is it, Laszlo? Well, it's not so much of what it is. It is it, it, what it does. What does it do? It weighs. It weighs. <laughs> I Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. right it's his back. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I didn't know that it was going to be. Oh, my I'll go back. Yes, here. I'd appreciate it if you'd work on those Table. other toys yes. here, Laszlo. Right well, Santa, how are you coming along? Have you got some good jokes to make the You betcha I've got some good jokes. I am going to make him double up in laughter. Oh, that's wonderful. And I haven't got a joke. You haven't got no, a joke? No, I do not have a joke. I've got it. 
Why don't you tell the king about your diet? My diet? That's always good for a laugh. <laughs> well, you know, I have lost five pounds. Oh, that's funnier yet. It is. What about, uh, why does a chicken cross the road? Oh, Santa, yeah. remember the king is only unhappy. Yeah. With a joke like that, you'll make him mad. I didn't think of that. Santa, not... Santa, I got it this time. Oh, yes. This is going to do it. Good. Gonna... Yes. It's a ratsafras. He's very nervous. It's, um, yes, it's a ratsafras. Yeah, you put pepper in it, see, yeah. and you blow it in people's uh -huh. faces, and they go, rats, it brass. <laughs> Listen, uh, that's very good, Lasso. Work on it a little more. Go to that end of the bench. I will. Uh, now, listen, uh, one thing I'm trying to do, Maud, I know you're busy, but I'm trying to think of jokes, trying to do this, trying to coordinate all the reindeer and everything, and what do you have to do? Well, I'll tell you what. You think of a funny joke to make the king laugh, and I've got a lot of confidence in you. Well, yes. And while you're doing that, uh -huh. I'm going back into the kitchen yes. because I've got a nice little pie that I've been fixing for the king. What For the king? Yes, it's a peppermint chiffon cream. That's my favorite pie. Well, I've got one for you a little bit later. Oh, Maud, bless you. That's wonderful. I'm glad about that. By Jove, you know, she's a fine lady, that lady. Laszlo? Uh, Santa, yes. for a joke, yeah. I could always... Uh, you could I always could... go back to the other end of the bench. That's what you could do. I could do that. I could do now that. Now, listen. I want to let you know oh, the best part about this... Watch out. Oh, I've got the pie. Oh, isn't is it, it delightful? Yes, it is. And it's, it's a for beauty. the king. He'll yeah. just enjoy well, it. Well, that's good. Well, have you got a good joke? I've not only got a good joke, I'm waiting for Laszlo to come up with uh, one. Uh, Santa, Santa, listen, this is going to do it. This yeah. is going to be it. This is a big one. What is it? It's, it's, it's a rip snort. A rip snort? Yes. Now, how does it work? Well, it, uh, it, it, well, it, uh, it backs up sinks. Backs up sinks? Yes. Maud, we finally got one that backs up sinks. Goodness gracious, who would want their sink backed up? Who in the world would want to have their sink backed up? It's, uh, dull people. Dull, dull people. Yeah, well, if they're sitting around all day and they're not doing nothing and their sink backs up, then they're going to have to do something. Back to the bench, Laszlo. I'll go back to the That's bench. That's it. Now, Maud, you know, uh, what time is it? Well, I think it's almost time. Almost at time? I remember the king said one hour, so get my scarf. Okay, get the scarf. And let's get now. back to the king's Let me room. hold the pie. So hold the pie. Now, the pie. don't you touch it there, Oh, Santa. it's good. All right. Oh, okay, delight. join me towards the door. Okay, right over there. Here we go. Way. All right, come on, Alice. Right out this way. Okay, Alice. Follow right. more that okay. way. Okay. Here we go. Keep all the elves. On to the king. On to the king. <laughs> You do something about that music. Right away, Your Majesty. Oh. 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 <laughs> Much better. No. Consider it dead. For New Year's Eve, uh, try for the Bay City Rollers. The Elliott Bay City Rollers, Your mm -hmm. Majesty. Mm -hmm. Anyone but that. Announcing Chris Kringle and Maud Kringle. Oh, do we owe them money, too? No, that's that fat man with the red suit, your majesty. Listen, uh, Oh, oh, yes. Uh, 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 hello there, your your highness, uh, your kingship. Uh, hello, hello, and uh, we're back, and we want to say hi and thank you very much. And, Things uh, are working out just wonderful. Just perfect, the boy, I'll tell you. Elves have made all kinds of toys. That... Thank you. Let's get going now. Yeah, okay, we'll one see you. One moment, one moment. One moment. That we had a little condition here. First of all, I didn't even know you Bonded with three elves. Yes. There's only one and two here. Don't worry about a thing. You see, uh, Lorenzo was a little slow, right? And what about Horatio has me laugh? Where's Laszlo? Uh, uh, Laszlo, listen, okay, I got Tell some... Tell them all those funny jokes. Funny jokes. Here comes. I go, King. Here you are. What do they call an elephant on a train? A passenger. Oh, no, isn't someone. that funny? That's really a killer, That's isn't it? A I passenger, is that funny? Now, here's funny. another one. Uh, what do you call a camel at the North Pole, Kingsley? Camel at the North Pole, Your yes. Majesty, is lost. Yes, he's lost. lost. How about that? That's that good, just isn't it? doubles me up. That is a funny one. You should. Sure we are not doing good. Oh. But I'll get him on this one. Try one more. Here we go. It's got to work yeah. if we don't listen, make them laugh. Uh, yeah, yeah, your kingship. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why do the elves always wear tennies? 
Because the 90s are too small. And the 11s, they're too big. Is that bad? That's it now. Wasn't that good? Tony Youngman did better in his older, younger days. Well, uh, that's about it, I guess, Maud. Maybe you could do a little dance or something. I could probably. That would amuse the music. They'll look at him there, Kitty. How about that? Wasn't that a wing? Tickle your funny bone. Mm. It didn't. Mm. Maud, it's bad. Oh, mm. we've got to We have got a bad problem right now. Oh. Oh. Santa, Santa, I got it for sure. I got it. He Santa. just went Santa. through. Santa, we're... Laszlo, I'm right. here. Ooh. Yeah, Santa, I got it this time for sure. You're going to like this for sure. You Laszlo. wait and see. This is not the time. Laszlo, go away. Just we take don't a look have... at it. Just take a look at it. You're going to love I'm it. I'm looking at it. <clears throat> Laszlo, it's a mirror. Yeah, I'm going to call it... Reflections. Let me take a look at yeah. it. See, Mom? Oh, I don't think he likes that one. Oh. No? That's... Say, there is a funny face in there. Take no, a look, no, your worship. Let me take a look at that. Oh. Let you take a look at it. Oh. Funny, right? <laughs> it's funny. Not I just... Funny. Not funny. Not funny. Not funny, Mom. I thought then, maybe... Then let no. You said not funny. Well, you sure promised to make me laugh, yes. and you haven't done and it. the time is up. Mm. Oh. Exactly an hour just passed. I want all the elves back and all their toys. All the elves, all the toys? What's going to happen to Christmas? Why, the zillions of kids won't get any Christmas presents or anything, Maud. I don't know, Santa. Well, well, look, Your Worship, even though it didn't work out, just to let you know there's no hard feelings, I fixed one of my favorite recipes. And your kingship, it's my favorite kind of pie. Listen, I have it all the time. you. I just mm. love it. Oh, it's good. Well, Thanks anyway, King, and I guess it didn't work out, but maybe... Let me see that pie. What? Oh. Oh, 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 I did. Oh, 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 That's okay. Yes, yes, yes. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you're really gonna be interested in this, but I got one more invention. One, one more. more. What is it? It's a full rim Zelton torch. <laughs> full rim. A full rim Zelton torch. What is it? Wait, wait, wait. Take that and put it in your purse, Maud. Okay. Take that and hold it very careful. And I'll tell you all about it when we get back to the North Pole. Who's it for? It's the landing. Shh, quiet, it's quiet. I'm not going to say anything. It's for little Andy. Little Andy, the one that called for the full rim Zelton oh. torch, and he'll have a Merry Christmas this year, I'll tell you. <laughs> well, since you made me laugh, then I proclaim laughter and happiness for the Christmas season. Christmas makes us glad. We'll have the best and happiest that we have ever had. We'll make the toys for girls and boys. We'll spread the Christmas cheer. So happy on this special day, the best day of the year. The elves have made a million toys and Mrs. Claus made candy. We even made a full rim children torch for little Andy. Ho, 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 ha, 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 I can't help but laugh. The joy of bringing happiness just doubles me in half. The best of all to all we bring from, from our hearts we say, May love and peace and joy be yours this special Christmas day. That's how Horatio, Lorenzo, and Laszlo joined Santa Claus. And, of course, there were other elves later on. And Santa Claus has never, ever run out of people to help make toys. Wasn't that a great story? That's a great story. Great story. I like story. Did you well, that? Yeah. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Well, chances are you have to go with Carolyn. Yes, we do. Uh, we got to go. Thanks a lot for the call, J.P. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, was that was great. Okay. It was warm. Okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, J.P. Okay, bye-bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.
How Santa Got His Elves, more or less, was sponsored by Sears Greater Seattle Puget Sound Stores. Sears will be closed Christmas Day so that our employees can spend the day with their families. All stores will reopen at 9.30 a.m. Sunday, December 26th. Sears would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our customers for their patronage this past year and wish you and yours a joyful holiday season. That was really good. Yeah, and well, uh, you know, it worked out. Mm -hmm. Santa got his elves, and uh, Christmas was wonderful. Turned out beautiful. Hey, listen, you've got a program about Christmas. Do you know, in 1980, uh, Steve Wilson at King came up with an idea that I should have a little Christmas show. Uh -huh. And uh, we put together a, a holiday special. And, uh, gosh, it turned out really good. Would right. you like to see my... I'd like to see it, but listen... Isn't there some nostalgia in there with some of the old uh, department well, stores? Well, you know, I, uh, the Bon Marche is gone. Mm -hmm. Frederick and Nelson is gone. Uh, Thank goodness we're not gone. Well, we're <laughs> close. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I think you're going to like this. It was. Uh, it'll take you back. Oh, okay. To huh? 1980. 1980. Well, mm -hmm. I'm. I'm ready. So. Okay. Here we go. Get a whiff of the pine and take a look at the holly and we'll all have a jolly Christmas day. Santa's sleigh is on its way. Yes, it's Christmas in Seattle. See the Santa Claus in Frederick's window. Children eager for their say. And the lighted trees on Fifth and Union. The star on the Bon Marche. Come along, join the fun and all the gay Christmas scurry. Better hurry, the Christmas ship is due. It's always new, a gorgeous view. And the space needles lit like a candle. Because it's Christmas, Merry Christmas. Yes, it's Christmas in Seattle. Let me help you. Well, Grandma Torvald. Stanley. Stanley Borison. What's this I smell? Oh, that's a uh, pickle herring. Just dust it off. Uh, Uncle Torvald will never know the difference. Pickle herring for Christmas? Oh, I got to get this one out of the way. This one here is for Novo. My goodness, you have a lot of presents. Well, you see, I have presents here for Hagu and uh, Pepita the Flea. And I got one for the old timer. Why, it, it looks like you have one for everybody in the whole clubhouse gang. Oh, yeah, well, put that one on top, young man. That one is for Victorola. Victorola? How is old Victorola? Oh, Vic is good. He's just around the corner at the King Five Archives. The what? Uh, well, come on, I'll show you. I got to deliver Victor Ola's press in any way. Gee, I haven't thought about the old clubhouse in years. There's a box of telephones above. And the secret password that we use down at the club. Zero dock, a smooch, a crock, a salabaloo's a fan. Means now you are a member of King's TV Club with Dan and Bozo and Nomo and Tallulah and Victor Ola and Pepita and all. Hi there. Oh, hi there, fellas. Uh, watch your step there. Okay. Nice dog. Yeah, nice dog. What the uh, floor you fellas want? Well, we want to go and see all that stuff from King's Clubhouse. Ah, the clubhouse. Yeah. Love that show. I worked on it 18 years. You did? Yeah. In fact, 
I knew the fellow that ran the show personally. Clem? Is that you, Clem? Stan Barrister! Yeah. And no more. And Grandma Thorval. Gee, it's good to see you, Clem. Well, it's good to see you folks again. How long have you been here now? Ah, oh, going on 32 years now. My God. Yeah, 32 years. Why, golly, I'll tell you, sure good to see you folks again. I want you folks to go ahead and have a good time, and I'll be catching up with you later. And uh, when I bring the next tour on through, okay? We're going in there and see all the stuff, Clem. Well, you have a good time. See you later. Now. Stan Bars. Oh, golly. My golly. Look at all this stuff. It looks like they kept just about everything. And over there, Mole, over there's where all your old hats are. Why, Nomo, do you remember how the gang used to mail in all those hats for you to wear? Isn't that terrific? Hat, tell me please which hat should she wear today. Hat, tell me please which part does she want to play. She's got so many hats, it's hard to tell which one. Thin ones, fat ones, white ones, green ones, blue ones. And talk about your beanie hats. You can change your hat and you get a world who turned out the lights. Hats, you can find that there isn't a greater gift. I like that. Why don't you change your shuffle? Why not a lily dog shade? Why you ought to get a new hat today? Daniel Boone, hats, tell me please which hat should she wear today? Hats, tell me please which part does she want to play? She's got so many hats, it's hard to tell which one. Hi, Mick. Tall ones, thin ones, fat ones, wide ones, beanies, and talk about the tall ones. Hats, she can change your hat and she gets the left. Big cheap hats, you will find that there isn't a greater gift. Why don't you change your shuffle? Why not a lily dog shade? Why, she ought to get a new hat today, right away. She ought to get a new hat today. Are you planning to go skiing? Stanley! Or oh, Stanley! Oh, no. It's all coming back to me now. Nomo, cover your ears. For my first number, I'm going to play that ever popular alone. That's because nobody would play with me. But here I go. Now, this isn't alone. For my first number, I'm going to play that ever popular Nola. <laughs> Just look like a loan there. really something. All those vegetables. Oh, I used to get a lot of free salads in those days, boy. Say, do you still take lessons, Grandma Torvald? Take lessons? I give them. Oh, my this, I'm late for a lesson right now. Say, when you see Wick the Rula, you be sure and give me his Christmas present. Okay, I will. Bye, Grandma Torvald. Bye. Isn't this exciting, Mo? You know, this is really a wonderful place. Let's, let's see what else is over here. Oh, Mo, look here. There's the old stove. Boy, that kept us warm on many a cold afternoon, didn't it? And here, here's the sunglasses. Your sunglasses that you wore to Disneyland. They just fit. And here, look at this Hey Use old bass fiddle. I wonder if this thing still works.
Yeah, it still works. Boy, Mo, that Hey You was a great orchestra leader, too. Three salmon and one smelt. Hardest grandma Torvald. Get it, Mo? Three salmon and one smelt. <laughs> oh, here's another one by Grandma Torvald. It says, tow truck. You know, she's about as bad an artist as she is a piano player. Hey, hey Stan. No, Mo. O over here. Well, over Victor here. Rola, how are you? Oh, I've missed you so... Uh, uh, how are you? Say, Victor, I have a present for you from Grandma Torvald. Uh, a present? W what for? Well, it's, a, it's Christmas time. It's a Christmas present. Oh, the seasons go by, you know, so fast. I, I know. I'd never get out of the archives, so, uh, you oh, know. Well, here's the present. Hey, hey it's an album. Yeah. And it's one of yours. Yeah. Oh, man, I just love those old songs, Stan. Let's do one. I think the accordion's right there. See it? it well, it is. Well, there's my old accordion. It's a little bit dusty, but... I bet it'll still play. How about one of those Christmas songs we used to do, Vic? Hey, that's a great idea. See if you remember this one, Vic. Christmas cookies and holiday hearts. That's the way the holiday starts. Christmas cookies and holiday hearts. Goody, goody, yum, yum, yum. Some are shaped like evergreen trees. Eat them by twos, eat them by threes. Christmas cookies and holiday hearts. Goody, goody, yum, yum, yum. Mommy, mommy, bake a little more, all the children say. Mommy, mommy, bake a little more, it'll soon be Christmas Day. Christmas cookies and holiday hearts, that's the way the holiday starts. Christmas cookies and holiday hearts, goody, goody, yum, yum, yum. Mommy, mommy, bake a little more, all the children say. Mommy, mommy, bake a little more, it'll soon be Christmas Day. Christmas cookies and holiday hearts, that's the way the holiday starts. Christmas cookies and holiday hearts, goody, goody, yum, yum. Goody, goody, yum, yum, goody, goody, yum, yum, yum. Oh, I just love those old songs, Dan. Me too. Mail call. Clubhouse mail. Mail? Yeah. I'll we'll yeah, set it right Stan, down they, over they here, They bring in this Stan. stuff every day. Well, we're still getting mail. Vic, we haven't been on the air for 12 years. Yeah, yeah, I know, but, you know, I answer as many as I can. You do. And look at all this mail. Here's, here's one here from Chet R. Cheese of Dairyland, Wisconsin. Now, that's a ripe one. Yeah, I forward all those to the to, to Stockholm. The answer man's still on the air over there, you know. You're kidding. Yeah, in fact, I think you can see him on that TV. See that old TV set there? Right there, that's it. The and answer man's still on the air yeah, in Stockholm, come in Sweden? No fooling. Well, we have a whole bunch of questions here, and I'm gonna answer them for you now. Uh, for, I can't see so pretty good there. Could we have a little more light in the, here in the studio? Turn on some more of the light. Thank you for the extra light there. There they go. Oh, that's real Make good. Up. Make up. Make up. Make up. <laughs> Not so heavy on the makeup, please. Yes, yeah, that's, that's terrible there. That's better. Thank you too much. You know, he hasn't gotten any better. The first question come in from Anna Ticia of Sleepy Hollow, Tennessee. And she go on here, last night I caught my dog chewing up our dictionary. If it ever happened again, what should I do? Well, if you ever catch your dog chewing up the dictionary again, you better just take the words right out of his mouth. <laughs> All right. Our next question come to us from Otto 
Mobile of Pontiac, Michigan. He says, I live on the third floor of a boarding house, and I am deathly afraid that it will blow up some night. What would happen if the boarding house did blow up? Well, that's very simple. If the boarding house blew up, rumors would be flying. Boy, he tells jokes like Grandma Torv all paints. Yeah, his jokes are as old as the old-timer. The old-timer, is he still around? Oh, no, he, he moved out of the closet oh, a couple years ago. Got himself a place up on Capitol Hill. I'll be darned. Do, uh, do you remember that song that I wrote for the old-timer? Who lives in the closet and doesn't pay rent? <laughs> Everyone knows the old timer who has a horse with a back golden bed. Everyone knows the old timer who's been every place, done everything, goes your Raylium prospect in every spring. Who thinks my name's Mr. Borenberg? Everyone knows the old timer. And at Abe Lincoln's election, he let it share. Forget when we did that, <laughs> and I claim my road double with Paul Revere, whose stories get bigger with each passing year. Everyone knows the old timer, and on that very dark, stormy night, yeah, I helped Ben Franklin fly that kite. Say, why was Ben Franklin out there in the middle of the night in the rain flying that kite anyway? Gosh, his wife took his rubber duck away from him. He had nothing else. To <laughs> no, no, terrible. no. Who helped build the aeroplane with Orville Wright? Hey, everyone knows the old timer. Oh, I really miss that old coot, but, but he comes to visit me every Sunday. Oh, good. Say, what's that peculiar odor I've been smelling lately? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've noticed it too. Uh, hey, ever since the mail came in, I've noticed that. You know, it seems to be coming from this box here. Dressed to Uncle Torval in Cherokee. Oh, this isn't what I think it is. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. That's the biggest pickled herring I've ever seen. Oh, my goodness. You know, this was mailed to Uncle Torval from Myrtle Mop Up 12 years ago. No wonder it smells. And from the looks of it, she makes pizza like the post office delivers mail. Ooh. What are you doing now, Mert? Oh, I'm starting from scratch. Oh, good. Yeah, I scratch a great deal. <laughs> this is this is the dough we're getting ready here. Oh, I see. There seems to be, just a second, there's a terrible lump there. Wait, uh, Mo can't see a thing just, down just, here on the floor. Just... What do you mean, putting that dog? Get that dog off of there. Oh, no. Uh, she wants to see how pizza's But made. that's against the health uh, laws. Well, what can we do? Here, put a hairnet on her. <laughs> <laughs> For heaven's sake. Oh, we don't I want... should have thought of that. Well, this is a high-class restaurant. There, there. Now she's all right. Hines refused to come here. Yes, that's marvelous. All right. This dough's getting a little hard to manage. <laughs> uh, this is all oh, music, music. Somebody wants some music. Okay, bring on the orchestra. Bring on the orchestra. You have music, too? I can't hear it over the din. What'd you say? Ah, oh, isn't that lovely? What a band. That's written especially for the restaurant. What's it called? I left my heartburn in Muffle Teo. <laughs> no. Yes. But I found it again here at the pizza parlor. Boy, this dough, let me tell you, I'm really in the dough here. Ah! Oh, I think I broke my hand. I'll be right with you. Don't panic. I'm holding now, the Here, now watch this. You see, you see me throw this up and it gets bigger as you it throw does. it up. Yeah. Okay. Just throw it up there, just like that. Now what'd you do? Where'd it go? Mert, what'd you do now? I don't see it in no place. Where'd it go? Well, Where'd it go? Well, Mert, I don't... It must be flying around the chandelier there someplace, Mert. Look up above, Mert. It must be up there in the chandelier someplace. It must be stuck in the sh... Oh, Mert. There'll be a... Would you tell those folks there'll be a slight delay here before we get the next batch? Oh, isn't That's that a... terrible. Name. That's just terrible. Well, let's... Don't eat lick at it. <laughs> Not you, no more. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, listen, why don't we pause here for a few minutes, and uh, while you get reorganized, we'll have uh, some little entertainment or something, huh? What do you think we've been doing for the last five minutes? I don't know what you'd call it. <laughs> Here's another.
another one of Grandma Torvald's famous paintings. This one is called Holy Smoke. Isn't that just awful? And Mo, look over here. There's the old Uncle Torvald storybook. The one about Snow White. Come on over and let's get a better look. Hello there, children of the television land. Here is your old Uncle Torvald caught again off guard. I know how this is going to work. Uh, you know, he starts out like a beautiful story, and then he messes it up. Just watch. Looking glass, looking glass on the wall. Who is the prettiest one of all? And the looking glass would come right back and say, Yemeni Vest, their queen old girl, you are the rarest and the beautifulest pearl. She liked that. But now, since Snow White came along, the wicked old stepmama say, looking glass, looking glass on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? <laughs> the looking glass say, ziggity zig and ziggity bam. You got the face like an old horse clap. What'd I tell you, Mo? Just terrible. Well, here's my old Santa Claus gear. I wonder if it still fits. And uh, here we are in the Stan Morrison wing of the King Television Archives. Uh, right over here, we have the uh, actual switch that uh, we used to use to turn the Christmas tree lights on on the King Television Tower. We just push that thing in and those lights would go on. And uh, as you can see, it, ha it doesn't work as good as it used to. <laughs> Uh, right over here, we have Stan Morrison. Well, hi. I used to watch you when I was a kid. Do a song for us, Stan. Yeah, play a Christmas song. Yeah. Well, how about one of Uncle Torvald's songs when he was going to be the pretend Santa Claus? Would oh, you like that one? Yeah. Great. Okay, I'll go over here and get my accordion. Uh, Victor Ola, uh -huh. are you awake? Oh, I'm awake. Okay, will you uh, come in on the chorus? That's the ho uh, kind of the ho ho ho. The ho ho ho. Yeah, okay. okay, I think I know that. Okay, here we go. I got the nice red suit because I will impersonate Santa Claus. Wearing my Santa Claus disguise will give my kids a big surprise. To climb on the roof will be simple trick. Come down the chimney like old Saint Nick. Kids will be waiting by fireplace to see old Santa Claus smiling face. Ho, 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 don't ever go. Up on the rooftop, please don't go. Average roof is much too slick. You're going up fast, but you're coming down quick. I climbed the ladder to get on the roof. I'm a very simple-minded goof. It's very dark and I not see a bump into the aerial of the TV. I grabbing aerial before I know, knocking it loose and away we go. I slip and slide and then I fell. I land on my head hearing Christmas bell. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, don't ever go. Up on the rooftop, please don't go. Average roof is much too slick. You're going up fast, but you're coming down quick. I fall off roof and I bust down gate. Kids run outside to investigate. I are unconscious from fall on head. The kids think Santa Claus is dead. Next day, kids are a very frown. TV aerial, I've been knocked down. Sesame Street, we cannot see. It's a lousy Christmas without the TV. Ho, 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 don't ever go. Up on the rooftop, please don't go. Average roof is much too slick. You're going down fast, but you're coming down quick. Okay, everybody, can we have to go out the same way we came back in? Thank you very Thanks much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye now. Next up on the tour is the hydroplane wing. Gee, Mom, that was fun. When is Stan Borson going to be on TV? He's not on TV anymore, sweetie. But when I was your age, I used to watch him every afternoon. He was a very special friend. 
That was sure fun, Stan. I just love to have you here. Yeah, wasn't that fun? Oh, there's the phone. It's, the phone's ringing. It's, it's, I think it's over. Hello? No, no, no. It's over in the shelf there, I think. Somewhere. It used to be a coffee can. Yeah, yeah I think. Look at that oh, wire. Sure. Hello? Hello? Well, Grandma Torval, how are you? Good. You're having a party. Oh, and people are nice. And who's going to be there? Hey, you and Foghorn Peterson and Pepita the Flea and the old timer. Why, the whole gang. Well, gosh, we'll be, I'll get Nomo and Vic and we'll be right over. Okay. Okay, see you soon. Okay. Vic, there's going to be a party at Grandma Torval's oh, house. Oh, and Pepita's going to be there? And we're invited. Oh, I can't. Listen, let's, I'll let's... get Nomo and just follow me. We're going to the party. Okay, I'm ready to roll. Here we go. Party time at Grandma Torval's. Stan, that was great. Did you like it? Yeah, I thought it was wonderful. Didn't I look young? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't we so all? Bald. <laughs> you know, that's why I wear makeup. See? <laughs> I know. I better start. <laughs> you know, uh, Stan, uh, uh, something uh, uh, pretty bad happened one year. No. Oh. Way back when, uh, around 1970 something. You know that evil person, Boris S. Wart, the second meanest man in the world? I know it. Well, anyway, uh, he uh, garnered the corner of all the toys that were being made, mm. and Santa was, I, I mean, he was perplexed. Mm -hmm. He couldn't get enough toys for the boys and girls. And uh, Santa Claus couldn't get them from Boris S. Ward. That's why he was called the second meanest man in the world, mm -hmm. but super clown to the rescue. You know, that's who, no one knows his true identity, you know. <laughs> anyway, super clown came up with a great idea on how to get the toys to Santa mm -hmm. by making, well, anyway, that's complicated, too. I know it. So you know what we're going to do? No. I'm going to count to three again. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm, I can never get past three, no, you know. I know. We'll count to three again, okay. and after we count one, one, two, three, we'll say super clown to the rescue. Okay, here we Let's go. Let's do it. One, one two, two, three. Super, super clown, clown to, to the, the rescue. rescue. Through the snow, in a one-horse open sleigh. Yeah. Hey, that sounds like Gertrude. Yeah, I want to... Yes, come in, Gertrude! Yes! Yeah, I want to... Just do this again. Read it right there in the paper. Read it right there in the paper. Just read it right there. Have you heard one? Have you heard it? Have you heard it? Have you read it? Why don't you read something every once in a while? Go take Wait, a look that, at that. What is that, newspaper it's here? It's the newspaper. Right, headlines right there. Take a look at that. I can't read it. Oh, turn it upside down. You're supposed to put it that way. Good. Now take a look at that, huh? What does Ooh, it say? That, what does it say? That's awful. That's awful. I'll tell that's you that's terrible. awful. Terrible. Right look at that line on that. Now what does it say? What does it say? It <laughs> says there'll be no Christmas this year because Santa needs more elves. No Christmas. This yeah. is terrible. Take a look at that, huh? Huh? Yeah. huh? Huh? Well, I can imagine. You know, with all the boys and girls more and more each year. Why? Yep. Santa ran out of elves. Well, that's the problem. 73,000 million, 142 zillion kids, and now they all want a present and stuff like that. And there's no guy can be a Christmas present. There's no wait, elf to wait, make wait. that toys and stuff. Yeah, just happened to think. Yeah. But, but you no know elves. What? No elves, that's right. Santa that's won't not be able even to funny. Make the presents and the boys and girls will look under the tree and there'll be nothing there, Gertrude. Wait. Yeah, wait. 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 You've got an idea. Wait, I've got an idea. I'll tell you I've got an idea. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? It just buzzed through my brain. Yes? I am going to become an elf. That's it. You are going to be an elf? I am going to I'm going to be an elf. You know why? Yeah, wait, wait, hold it. What? You're kind of big for an elf, aren't if you? If Santa wants me to be an elf, I am going to be an elf. And that's it right there. Bing's that. 
Well, that's very commendable, Gertrude. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, I think maybe with you being an elf, yes. why, maybe Santa Claus can make a few extra toys. Whatever, but... whatever, and I'm on my way to the North Pole. Good. You're on your way. I'm okay, to North well, Pole. Good. goodbye, God. and tell Santa hi. I could, I'll okay. tell him hi. At least I am going to go to the North Pole. At least I am going to be an elf. At least I am going to try to do something about the situation. At least well, I'm going to do that. Well, I'm, I'm busy, I'm wrapping. Oh, I know, busy, big deal. So. Good. Well, I'm going to go to the North Pole. Okay, goodbye. Oh, bye. Uh, Goodbye. Well, goodbye, goodbye. I mean, can I? Gee, this is a long way up there, and well, yeah. Like so that. you better start right now. Well, okay, but I mean, the thing is, rather than hitchhiking and doing stuff like that, <laughs> could I borrow your teleporter? I mean, you oh, know, sure. Oh, every... I almost forgot the teleporter. Yeah. What? Look, what? I'll set it on automatic yeah. controls here. Good. Set it for the North yeah. Pole. Good. You just climb right in here there. Right okay. Yeah. And tell Santa hi. Right. Okay. At least I am gonna try to do something. At least I. I am going to try to do something. Well, I, Some other I people I know just watch people in trouble and they don't help at all. Oh. But I am going to do something. Just try and do something. Well, at least I am going to do something. <clears throat> uh, well, okay. At least Gertrude is trying to do something. I wonder if there's... I wonder if there's something I could do to help Santa Claus. Judith! Yeah. Uh, hey. I'm Oh, you're stuck. Here, I'll give you a helping hand. Well, in this case, a helping foot. Do One, that. two, three. There she goes, up to the North Pole. Hey, that's commendable of Gertrude. Helping Santa Claus up there. There must be something I can do. I wonder what I could do to help Santa Claus. Needs all those extra elves. I can't make toys. Sounds like Miss Smith from the Miss Smith Delivery Service. Hi there, Miss Smith. Yeah, oh, uh, look, uh, Miss Gert, uh, I mean, uh, Miss Smith. Uh, you almost made a mistake, yet, didn't you? Well, I did. You know, Gertrude's on her way to the North yeah. Pole to help Santa Claus and Miss Smith. I haven't got time for jokes. I, I want to deliver your laundry. Yeah, my laundry? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, thanks. Oh, wait, I have a gift for you. Uh huh. Hey, Merry Christmas there, Miss Smith. That's nice. Okay. You know. Merry Christmas, dear. Oh, uh, uh, looks the same size box. Right? Well, well, Merry Christmas there, Miss Smith. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye. Boy, I don't feel like uh, I'm in the Christmassy mood knowing that Santa Claus doesn't have enough elves. Oh, my laundry. <laughs> what a thing to get just before Christmas. Hey, wait! My laundry? Why, this is my super clown underwear! Of course! I can become super clown and help Santa Claus! That's what I'll do! I'll be super clown! Telephone booth, where's my telephone booth? I'm gonna become super clown! Right now, I'm helping Santa Claus. Uh, Gert, look, uh, look who's here to save the day. 
Hey. All right, I'll look on you. Hey, Super Cloud. Right, Super Cloud. You are just the one that Santa Claus needs right now. There is a problem. We have got awful things going stop, on. Stop, stop. Yes. My good friend, JP. Yeah? You are a real good, uh, close to Judas. Tell me all about it, Gertrude. Oh, I know. You and Judas, you make such a pair. Gosh, I'd like to see you two well, together someday. I understand that Santa Claus is having a little bit of trouble getting toys made because of the lack of elves. That's the problem. There's no elves. It's always the same problems. You've got 732,000 people to get presents for. And With no... my super clown brain, yes. I'm sure I'll be able to think up a solution. Hey, that's wonderful. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, well, I'll think of something. That's wonderful. Uh, I can't wait. Let's see now. But um, tell me, tell me. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Santa needs toys. He needs toys. Right, okay. Now he doesn't yeah. have enough elves no, to make the toys. No, 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 good. Toys. We need toys. Toys, that's what we need, right? He'll get right to it. I'm If only we could find some. That's it. What? I've got it. Oh, good. I'm going to call Boris S. Wart. Hey, that's good. I. Da, 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 da. What do you mean, Boris S. Wart? He's the meanest, baddest, greediest, furthest in the whole world. He's terrible, and I don't know what to do. That's right, Gertrude. Yeah. But unbeknownst to a lot of people, uh -huh. Boris S. Wart is a toy manufacturer. A toy manufacturer? He has warehouses filled with toys. He does? All we have to do is have Boris S. Wart give Santa the toys, yeah. and the solution is solved. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. I'll, I'll tell give you. him a call right now. Give him a call. Give him a call. Good. All right. Yeah. Give Boris S. Ward a call. That's good. Get... Line's busy. Oh. Well, I guess it's just as easy to fly down there. I got an idea. Talk to him in person. Talk to him in person. Face to face. Yes, right there. Well, Gertrude, you, betcha. you keep answering that phone okay. there. I'm on my way. And tell Santa not to fear. Oh, I will. Because... Super Clown was here. Oh, that's wonderful. I haven't got time to fly out the door. I think I'll just fly through the ceiling. Up, up, and away. Thank you. Thank you. I can fill that order. Here we are at the North Pole. Thank you very much. Oh, we flew right through the ceiling, and the snow's coming in. Thank you very much for calling the North Pole. Santa Claus, thank you. Work, work, work. Work, work, work. Make more toys. Make more toys. Make more money. Make more money. Give me a W. W. Give me an A. A. Give me an R. R. Give me a T. T. Give me a T. T. Put them all together, they spell me. That's right, it is me, Boris S. Water, the second meanest man in the world, a toy maker and seller. <laughs> but threat. Every year at this time, it's that Sandy Claus. He comes up with giving all the toys away from it for free, and he's putting me out of business. I don't know what to do. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm here to see Boris S. Ford. Well, I don't know if he's there. I'll ask. Hey, Boris! Mr. Boris. Mr. Boris! Yes! There's some guy in his long underwear to see you. Okay, well, send him down. <laughs> Quiet, Carmen. I can handle this all by myself. Well, Boris S. Ward, the second meanest man in the world. Oh, hello there, Super Clown. How are you? Well, I'm pretty good. I guess this is your busy time you of year. You bet you it's my busy time of year. And But the only problem is I am selling the toys. I got 52 warehouses filled with toys. But then Sandy Claus comes in at this time of the year and gives all of them away. Well, Boris, I'm aware of that. Yes. Now, listen. How would you like to make a deal? How is that? Well... Santa Claus is in need of toys. He is? Yes, you see his elves. Well, uh, he doesn't have enough elves this year. That's too bad. What he then. needs are toys. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do anything. Now, look. What? If you give Santa Claus your toys, Boris... Yes? He'll give you something. Oh, yes? What is it he's got to give? A big thank you. A big... And Merry Christmas. What do you say, Boris? You is know... it a deal? Can I tell Santa Claus it's a deal? Do you know what I got for Santa Claus? Yes? A great big... <laughs> Hey, wait. Nothing for nothing. How can you act this way? Didn't you ever get a toy when you were just a little tad, Boris? When I was a little kid, I, I put out a request requesting to Santa Claus and... Yes, and of course, Santa Claus brought it to you. No, 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 no. He didn't get it for me. And I never got a present when I was a little kid. Santa Claus didn't bring you a present? He didn't bring me nothing. That's strange. So I've grown up to be the meanest man in the world, and now I am going to put him out of business. Wait, maybe it was just an oversight. Oh, no, it wasn't. Well, look, if Santa Claus brings you that toy now, yes. would you give Santa Claus those toys? We could probably negotiate. Okay, what was it, Boris? Tell me, and I'll go tell Santa Claus. I couldn't have... 
And, and he'll bring you that toy. I'll never tell what it was. I'll never tell what it was. Oh, come on. You can tell me. No, I can't. Hmm. Well, look. If I discover what it was yes. and bring you that toy, yes. then will you give Santa Claus those toys? You mean you're going to go that far? You're Why going. Not? You're going to take a chance of being another buffoon? You'll never find that. You'll never find that. And let me tell you, if you do find it, you got all the toys. That's a deal, That's Boris. That's a deal. All right. I'm back to see Santa Claus. Stand back. Up, up, and... It's a new... Oh, wait, wait. Uh, this, uh, these walls are pretty thick. They are. I think I'll walk upstairs. Bye. See you later, Boris. Bye-bye. Uh, You'll... On the way. He'll never find out what the toy was. Never find out. One billion bats, that's oh. good. One million dolls, that's fine. Four hundred baseball bats, that's fine. Thank you very much. Good, thank. Make sure. Hi, Kurt. Shoot, you made it back. You made it back. What did right. he say? What did he say? What did he say? Well, I discovered why Boris S. Wart will not give Santa Claus the toys. Good, 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 good. What is it? What is it? Tell me, Sue. Well, you me. see, a long time ago, yeah. for some reason or another, yes? Santa Claus did not bring Boris S. Wart a toy. When he was Did just he? a little tyke. A little tyke? Yes. Too bad. I'm... And ever since then, he's been kind of a meanie. Now. Yeah. If we can discover what that toy was, Gertrude, yes? and give it to him this year, yes? we have a deal. Don't you He'll please. give us all the toys in his warehouse, and then Santa Claus can deliver all the toys to the boys and girls. Now. Don't worry, Sue. Don't worry, Sue. Don't worry. I've got it. I've got it. I'm the head elf, you know. I'm, in the, I'm the head elf in charge of secretarial stuff and papers and things like that. You know okay. What? Do you know what the toy was? Turn right around and take a look right there. Good. The what files. Right there, the files. Good. All we got to do is look through the files. We'll just find out what it was that Santa Claus gave him, and then we'll know what we'll know what we know. Oh, no. Get him, get him. I don't know the order of these files. Uh, Wait, I'll probably down here under B for well, it could be, could be oh, under W for Wart or, or even B for Batty. <laughs> yeah. See, wait. Why don't we call Super? Uh, why don't we call Santa Claus? Huh? Santa, Santa Claus. Santa, Claus. Good. Santa, Santa, come on Santa, in, Santa. Oh, I think uh, Super Claus is calling you. Come on in, Santa. Come on in this way, Santa Claus. Gertrude? Yes, dear. Gertrude, I don't think we're gonna... We're not making your just Santa things Claus, are happening. Look who's here, Santa. Santa Claus, Santa Claus, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa. Who's A here? Super Clown. To your super Clown, Sam. Super Clown! To the rest. Am I glad to meet to you, rest. Super Clown? Glad to meet you, too, Santa. But well, what? what are you... There's... There, I don't afraid there's nothing you can do to help. Oh, You're wrong this time, Santa. You know Boris S. Wart? I, I have heard of him. He... He's a pretty bad fellow, I understand. Well, but yes, he is. It all nice happened fellow. a long time ago, Santa. Some reason you didn't bring Boris S. Ward a toy way back when, when he was a little guy. I didn't take uh, him a toy. Now, if we can discover what that toy is and give it to him this year, he's got a warehouse full of toys. A warehouse? That's what I need. We made a, a warehouse. deal. Now, he doesn't know that you have his... Toys on file. Yes, he doesn't know that, but right behind you, Santa, all you gotta do is look back to the summer of 1932 or something like that, and then find out. Why don't we go through that? Let's go through the file, Let Santa. Okay. Where are they in here somewhere? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What? Right in here. Look under here. What do we got here? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got it right here. No, that's his sister, Cloris. Hey, Cloris? Yeah. Here's Horace. Hey. Should be around here. It's Mor a little Morris? Yeah, no, Morris? Was it Morris? Yes, his little brother right there, right. Morris. You gave him a baseball bat. Dude. We've got to find those Quickly. files from way back when. Find it? Right. Way back. Oh, where is it? What's this? Here it is. Oh, oh. Morris S. Wart. There's his letter, that. Santa. What does it say? Down here, let's see, Morris. What's in? Uh, this is in December of 1941. Wow. See, uh, it by nine. All I want for Christmas is a new dress for Mommy so that she can go shopping. Maybe that's it, Santa. All Maybe you she... didn't bring Mommy that new dress. Yes. All she has is a house room. Thank you, Boris. Let's see you down here. 
That's, I, I'm sure, yeah, I know that I took her address. Let's you see. must have, look. December 1942. 42. Yeah, Dear year. Santa, thanks for bringing Mommy a dress last year. Uh -huh. She still doesn't get out of her room. Oh, that's uh, too bad. This, not a very stylish dress, Santa. This year I'd like a stuffed snake. A stuffed snake? Yeah, that's our yeah. Boris, all right. That's Boris? Boris. Let's see. Uh. Let me Maybe he wrote us again. Let's get over here. Let's see what's... Next year, next year. Yeah, what'd you get, Vaughn? What'd he say? What'd he say? What'd he say? He got his snake, and now he wants a purple wagon. A That's purple a wagon, okay. Now, what? how about uh, 1944? What? Christmas of 43. 43. 43. Hey, you know, there, there was a shortage of, of wagons then? Certainly. Shortage of wagons? Shortage you mean... of wagons. Santa, them. you didn't bring and him had, a wagon. And, um, Boar and... He hadn't been quite as good as uh, some of the other, and yeah. uh, that's I it, Santa. Didn't take him. He a didn't wagon. get his wagon. That's what has made him mean all these years, Santa. Hello. Do you have a wagon? Do you have a purple wagon? Any wagon will do. I can get a red wagon, a green wagon, a white, and we got wagons. Okay, let's, let's get a wagon. It. Let's wrap it up, and I'll take it to Boris Hesward. Gertrude, I hope let's you and I go get a wagon out here. Let's hey. head him up and move him out. All right. All right. Oh, hi there. This is funny. I, if this works, if this works, if this really, really works, it's going to be a great Christmas. All right, I've got the wagon. Oh, boy. Okay, start wrapping it real nice. We've only got a few more minutes. Quickly. We'll get these toys for you, Santa. Don't dally! All right. Just start wrapping it up there, Gert. We've got to hurry. He's got those warehouse full of toys. If I can get it there in about 10 minutes, we're safe. Never mind. Put that ribbon on it. Hey. I'll get that ribbon. Hey. Put that ribbon on it there, Gertrude. Put it right there, doesn't it? All right. All right. I'll see you later. So long, Gert. So long, Santa Claus. See you later, Sue. See someone knocked a hole in the roof. Up, up, and away. down here. I want to laugh into his face, and I did. <laughs> yes, well, well, Boris S. Ward. Yes, it's me. Are you ready to give up? Are you ready to just laugh a lot and just say goodbye? I'm goodbye? not ready to give up. You notice a smile on my face? I can see that. Yes, super clown to the rescue. I've done it again, Boris. You've done it? What have you done? Yes. What have I done? Yes. I discovered what that toy was you wanted way back when. <laughs> Couldn't be that you have discovered that. <laughs> and not only that, yes. I've brought you that toy. That toy, you mean? Uh, yes. You... Here it is. Let me see it. The toy that Santa didn't bring you way back when. Well, it looks a lot like it. It wasn't. It's that. It's... Go ahead. Open it up. It's about the right size, you know. Yeah. Open it up and see if that isn't the toy. But yes. remember your promise. Uh -huh. If this is the toy. <laughs> I get all of the toys for Santa Claus. Yes, but you see, I won't be able to tell you that until I see it. It's all wrapped up. You get the toys if it's, if it's the right one. Go but ahead. But there's no possible way for it to be the right one. Ha, 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 ha. Bunk. Let me, let me, let me. Well, Boris. Ah, well, the joke's on you. That's too bad. The joke. The joke's on you. It's a lot simpler, you know, Dave. That is the toy that Santa Claus promised you way back when. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. <laughs> I got my own wagon. I got okay. my own wagon. You've got the wagon. Yes. And I've got the toys. You know, one thing I got to ask. What? How come he forgot me back in 43? That was my favorite year. Because, Boris, you were a bad boy that year. And you've been a bad, bad person every year since. But now, this year, you redeem yourself by giving us your warehouses full of toys so that boys and girls all over the world can have a Merry Christmas! Ho, 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 ho! Merry Christmas! Yay! 
Yes, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. How about that, Boris? Wasn't that wonderful? I gave all the toys away for no money at all. Take the toys, spread them all over the world. Okay. All right. Start hauling those toys up to the North Pole. You betcha. Merry Christmas. Super clown has saved the day. Merry Christmas. Up. Oh, that brick wall. I I think I'll walk again. Up, up, and away. Wasn't that swell? That's just... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was tricked again. Well, that's it, Stan. That yeah. was our uh, Gosh, happy this, holiday. For this has been so much fun being yeah. with you here today, you know. Yeah. And uh, we want to wish everybody a real Merry Christmas from the Seattle Channel. In fact, let's sing about it, should we? Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, you forgot the words? <laughs> yeah. It's uh, a We Wish You. you oh, know. Yeah. yeah, okay. okay. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, <laughs>